Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you star rating project in Angular material and you know that we are working also on uh, Angular so if you are working with the material in Angular then there is the um, uh, you can say that it's a uh, fabulous uh, thing to add into your project that is the star rating star rating is i mean to say that uh, to, to rate your products to rate your authors to rate your tutors like that so uh, just i'm going to give you an a simple example of star rating uh, star rating and if you want to add star rating so you have to add material design so add a material theme into your project by using uh, a simple uh, uh, command line uh, tool by using the command that is ng add add the rectangular slash material after adding the uh, uh, material into a project in angular just add material icon uh, module material button module as well as material toolbar module okay so material toolbar is uh, not necessary to add it but uh, button uh, mat icon module is necessary to add it okay because the mat, uh, mat icon module is providing the stars okay so uh, you can uh, add a new component into your app uh, directory that is ngg c for component and utilities is the folder name and you can add rating that is the component name and skip the test file so here we have three files that is the html typescript and the css file now you can add your star rating icons in your app.component file so here we have a rating.component.cs file you can add your star in the html file so here we have app.component.html file that is the default with the default generated template so if you want to create a toolbar so you can just add mat-toolbar and the color is the primary so the color uh, of the primary i mean to say that that is the blue color default and if you want to uh, make it icon some icons like the stars so you can use mat dash star okay so, so everything is clear now the next one is to add ng4 in the uh, to print uh, five ta uh, five star in the uh, in the series so you can just add a uh, array and you can just uh, set the uh, max star size max rating you can say so this is actually that is the app component file that is the man component or you can say the root file you can just do it in the rating dot component dot css as well as app, uh, html as well as typescript file so first of all open your typescript file and you have to add input decorator and with the star ratings max rating maximum rating just i want to add it like the five ratings just you you can take it uh, with the input decorator because the input decorator right uh, i'm using here because uh, that is uh, used in the uh, app component file so just i want to send some information from the parent to the child so you can use input decorator and the a type of array like the max rating error arr that is the array and here i am you going to add on ng on it and with the void this dot max rating array equals to array this dot max rating that is the size of the array dot fill with the zero okay now define the type of the array that is the any now you can say that uh, here we have the size of the array is 5 now you can uh, okay so app component dot html file contain the selector of the app ratings component now you can just go for the rating dot component dot html file with the mat icon file rating dot component dot cs html and with the ng4 let icon of the array name that is the max rating error arr okay <clears throat> now you can just use span tag in which the span tag you can just add star so here we have the five star according to the array now 
you know that uh, if you want to add index so just let uh, keyword use index equals to index now after the index you can use mouse enter mouse leave and the click event mouse uh, mouse enter i mean to say that mouse edge over mouse hover and you can just move the mouse on the uh, move the mouse cursor on your stars then the color of the star will be changed with the also you can use a dynamic uh, uh, styling dynamic styling if you want to use dynamic styling then you can use ng class and ng class that is the property binding with the ng class and here i'm using input decorator also that is the selected star and by default the selected star contains zero okay now uh, input is the type of that decorator you can say so selected star is zero and uh, when uh, handle mouse enter i mean to with the index uh, index number so this dot selected star equals to index plus 1 and now just go for the next session that is the mouse leave with the ng class and checked is the class name checked is the depend on the condition that is selected star is greater than index if index is 0 then a selected star is always greater than 1 okay also design the checked uh, CSS class in the CSS file so class uh, is color is orange so now you can just go for this because the selected star equals to index plus 1 when move to the cursor then you can see that orange of the star color will be display okay so here I'm using uh, color equals to orange and just now I want to use matte icon and the matte icon uh, just you can use the cursor is the pointer is the type of the cursor that is the pointer okay when move uh, the mouse over the stars then you can see that the cursor will be changed in the in the form of pointer now uh, you can see that uh, mouse leave when the mouse is leave, I mean to say that your uh, color again will be changed in the black. So handle mouse uh, leave without any index. And you can say that handle mouse leave, I want to say that your selected star is at the position 0. Okay. But, but only the one thing is to remind in the uh, mouse leave that is if it is already selected that uh, that means of the previous state so take a another variable name that is the previous previous selection is zero so handle mouse event that is the previous selection zero so handle mouse leave so first of all check if the previous selection is not equals to zero then you can say that uh, the selected star this dot selected star equals to this dot previous selection okay and also in the else condition if it is zero then selected star goes to zero okay now when we click on the items i mean to say that rating.component.html you can say that it's not uh, leave you can see that because it's already a clicked event so when we uh, handle the click event also save the uh, rating component.html file with the rating and rating with the index and index is a number and you can say that yeah it's fine when the mouse over color will be changed and mouse out mouse leave color will be again black now when we click on this item the selected item or you can say that selected star equals to index plus one and also change the previous selection the previous selection is selected star 
okay so he, here you can say this dot previous selection equals to this dot selected star so when i select it that selected if i unselect it okay so everything is fine by using the input decorator if you want to uh, send the information from child to the parent component then you can send the number of the selected star to the parent component from the child component so you can use at the rate output decorator with the own rating with use event emitter emit the events by using event emitter so on rating dot emit the number of uh, the uh, stars or you can say that this dot select uh, selected star so this dot when rating is selected this dot on rating dot emit and this dot selected star plus one I mean to say that a pop-up will be display with the extra star selected ratings and app ratings have a own rating and handle the event with the dollar sign event okay so by using the in an event we have some numbers of the stars hello uh, very uh, so guys if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon and if you want to ask something please uh, comment it in the below comment okay so handle event colon number and you will see that alert message will be display your rating is looking like that so thank you guys for watching your videos and you can say that you can develop a star rating in, into your project very well and very easy way in angular front end thank you guys for watching this video